Nigerians need a bully like Buhari to knock sense into their heads, Femi Adishino. Nigerians need a bully with dictatorial tendencies like President Buhari who will knock sense into their heads, says Femi Adesina is media aid. That respondent show spoke the minds of millions of Buharists in Nigeria and that the diaspora, the man we fell in love with, is of iron and steel. Really? Is he the one ready and willing to knock sense into contumacious heads? whipping everyone into line and being kind to us in the process. A kind of bully, if you like the oxymoron, said the media aide. Be careful with your words. Be, listen, you're, you're, you're a presidential aide and you describe your boss as a bully who has dictatorial tendencies. See, by themselves, by themselves, they will expose themselves. He further noted that Mr. Buhari would not hesitate to, quote, whip in line violent tendencies. Anybody who misbehaves in any part of the con part of the country which shows his territorial controlling and wants to inflict pain on the people. What countries what the country needs at the time is an is iron and steel, an alchemy of GMB and PMB. Um, we are in a democracy, yes, but democracy is no by word for lawlessness added mr additional in simple terms we need to take away their human rights that's what he just said hmm. the president's media aid stated this in a facebook post continuing his argument he stated the nation needs to go into a tailspin because some people bear giant size grudges in their heart by the way is there any part of the country that does not have one grievance or the other is the next option then to capsize the boat of the country any leader that has sworn to uphold the constitution will not let, would not open his eyes and see it happen. Mr. Buhari on Tuesday had threatened to deal violently with Igbo youths in the southeast, like the violence visited upon the region's civilians by him and other military officers who fought the Nigerian, who fought on the Nigerian side during the civil war. The president said he had enough of the raging attacks against government facilities across the southeast violent thugs have been on the rampage in the region killing and setting public and private assets on fire listen we, we already know about this this is very sad but then again it's just like how you're a president mm, so sad so so sad they will expose themselves i mean it's just the audacity of these people of course you can talk because you're not you're, you're part of the, the elite the, the, that are going to be eating the crumbs of the national cake listen listen so sycophantic i mean it's your boss so what do you expect them to do they have to bring it out of their boss um but again when you describe your president or your boss as a bully first of all and you know you 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 say you say what you ugh, listen this is the underestimation of Nigerians for me. You literally see Nigerians as children, like just children, just, you know, to knock sense into their heads. For who and who? Huh? Huh? A bully who has dictatorial tendencies. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? So it, it is very clear. Mr. Buhari does not like egos. He's prejudiced against them um obviously we know he doesn't like like obviously we know that he he does not care about nigerians in general but then he his hate for he it was just increased i mean you know with how they work in the military fighting you know um on the side of the nigerian government at that time imagine imagine what was going on in 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 the trenches and how they were talking about it was listen 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 you sicko fans you sell out look, look, all of you em embarrassing that that is what's going on here so embarrassed Someone says, um, Nigeria needs bully like Buhari to knock sense into their heads from additional. In, in, is the statement really from additional? Our president is a bully. Again, if his presidential aide, if his aide is telling us that his boss is a bully who has dictatorial tendencies. Listen, that is a huge... I mean, he said that we need a mix of General Muhammadu Buhari and President Muhammadu Buhari, stating that we need a bit of the military-like Buhari so that he can, you know, whip the people into, 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 into shape. What? Supporting violence? I mean, look at, look at, the, look at the standard that we have. Look at the standard. Hmm. Someone says Buhari should deal ruthlessly with bandits, Amrabaz, Kilani... <laughs> 
he doesn't he this i have never seen this, this man show this mon this much vim this much vim this much vim and passion against anything else that actually affects the nigerian people or fulani headsmen or or, or be um or uh, 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 what's it called? Book Haram or another terrorist group or non gunmen. But if it's IPOB, ESN, BR France, Eagles calling Nigerians children, I mean, to be honest, let's even go back. I mean, I always read this all the time, but again, you know, he just talks to Nigerians in his in such a condescending manner. I mean, the best way to put it and encapsulate everything, um, is basically what um Chimamanda um Adichie said on Buhari, and it's just it's just so apt. It really is. Um, so she says, the gov- this context is the time of, you know, NSAS, where there was actually a massacre. Uh, and she basically described Buhari's government at the time and how he re- actually sees and relates to Nigerians, which I can say is accurate. So she says, the government of President Muhammadu Buhari has long been ineffectual with a kind of willful indifference. Under his leadership, insecurity has worsened, she wrote. There's a sense that Nigeria could very well burn to the ground while the president remains malevolently aloof. The president has often telegraphed a com- a contemptuous self-righteousness as though engaging fully with nigerians is beneath him very pr- is proven i mean he literally said you know these children misbehaving please 12 hours after soldiers shot peaceful protesters mr buhari still had not addressed the nation hmm that is true this and she said um the only reason to shoot into a crowd of peaceful citizens is to terrorize, to kill some and make others back down. It is a colossal and unforgivable crime. The brazenness is chilling that the state would murder its citizens in such an obviously premeditated way, as though certain of the lack of consequences, she wrote, as in preach. They don't care. No one is there to hold them accountable so they can do whatever they want. And so again, that's why I'm like, as a presidential aide, you understand the gravity of, of the statement that you're making by saying that the president is a bully who has dictatorial tendencies and who is here to whip Nigerians into line and knock sense into their heads. Who do you think we are? Like your puppet? Uh, what? Put what you think about this in the comment section below because honestly, these are the sort of at this point, Nigerian Nigerian. Politicians should be banned from social media. People, I think, I don't know if they like and subscribe.